Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually back working on our massive ICBM submarine. As you guys can see right here, we now have a bit of a humpback, which is kind of cool, and we also have a conning tower as well. What I want to do today is actually go to the inside and see if we can actually put in some sort of floor, uh, in order to actually see if we have enough room for a double-decker submarine. Whether we can or whether we can't, I'm not sure, and before we do that, I'm actually going to go ahead and try and extend this thing to be as big as the workbench, so it is going to be a little bit longer. Let's get to it, shall we? Okie dokie, so I believe this is everything, let's go ahead and cut it and move it backwards. Now, I'm not entirely sure how far I want to move it backwards, uh, there's an extra two blocks right there, I don't know. Let's just go ahead and take it all the way backwards to wherever we can. And paste it in right there, there we go. So now I have to attach all of this together, which, um, it's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick, and then I'll be back with you guys in a second. And there we go, I've almost sorted it out, uh, I've gone ahead and extended it, and it does actually look a lot better extended, which is nice. I just need to fix that little window right there, fix that window right there, and that will be pretty much it. I've already sorted the paint job out, which, um, is nice, uh, but yeah, I need to go ahead and fix that, put that window in the middle, and this one in the middle right there. Alright, so the next thing that I want to do then is actually go to the interior and see if we can actually fit a double-decker. So, in order to actually do that, I'm going to go ahead and paint the outside white, which might seem a little bit strange, but it allows us to see on the inside. And then we're going to go ahead and try and figure out where the center of this is. So this is currently 9, so if we count down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is where our floor will be all the way along. Um, I say all the way along, actually our missiles will go somewhere so it won't be double decker there, but that's okay So we need to figure out where they're actually gonna go. All right, so uh, how much space do we actually have right here? We've got let's say that right there. We also have uh, This right here, which would allow us to have four. I guess that's kind of cool We can then actually do another four right here I guess there we go and that would go down into the interior of this as well And we'd box these off as missile silo thingamabobbies um, whether this is actually gonna work the way that I want it to, I'm not so sure. But let's go ahead and delete these guys and see if we can box them all off. Alright, so I've gone to the inside of the, the submarine and this is what we currently have. These are our two little missile bits and honestly, they are off to the side and hopefully out of the way of where we will be walking, which I think makes sense. So we're gonna go ahead and fill these in like this. I'm then gonna go ahead and copy and paste these along and hopefully we'll have eight missile uh, thingamabobbies, missile pods. I think that'll be enough, maybe. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste these over. There we go, that's good. And then we can do it again right here and then we can do it again right here, bam. There we go. Now if we merge all of these guys together, I think we'll have a really nice little bit for our silo bits. Let's go ahead and spawn that in really quickly and it does still float, which is good. Uh, I have obviously got a bunch of holes in the roof now, uh, and that leads down to there, but we should be able to have a missile actually in there. That'll be great. You know, the more I think about this, the more I'm feeling maybe I can actually just have another one here, and then another one just after that as well. Uh, meaning that we have a bunch of more, uh, which actually is kind of cool. So I'm going to go ahead and delete through all of these. I'm going to delete all of that, and then I'm going to do the same right here as well, and then we can have more Silos, I guess? Yeah, I mean, why not? There we go. So now we've got uh, 4 plus 4 plus 4. We've got 12 missile launcher pod thingamabobbies. That's kind of cool. That's really cool. Okay, so I'm not actually entirely sure how I'm going to have, like, doors on these. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and put these little hatches. I know they're not the right hatch because I can't open them from, uh, from afar. But we're going to go ahead and use those for right now. Um, it'll give us a little bit of extra room for when we come to actually build some doors. Um, but yeah, we can actually see what they are now if we do use them this way. So I'm actually really pleased with that. Let's go ahead and delete all of these guys in the center. Actually, should we just like fill this in? There we go. Let's fill all that in right there and do this. Bam. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab this color and fix it in across here as well. Go ahead and paint these guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do these guys as well and these guys as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this on the front end because why not? There we go. All the way across the front. There we go. Good. Go ahead and paint it the right color. Here we go. Bush. And um, that looks kind of interesting. It does look kind of cool. Gonna go ahead and do this guy right here in the center. Do another one right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and use the other ones uh, in white. So there we go. All the way across to there. That is pretty awesome. Good. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and spawn it in and see what that looks like. 
Yeah, I mean, I think this is actually gonna work, uh, realistically. I think we have enough room here for the reactor at the back. We also have enough room for our missiles right there, and we also have enough room for a control room, etc, etc. That's really good. That's actually really, really good. Um, the other thing that I'm actually gonna do today as well is I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete a hole right here so we can get inside. I'm then gonna go ahead and delete a hole directly below that one. <laughs> Again, so we can get inside. Here we go, delete all of those. Grab this guy and put it there. There we go. We're then going to have to delete a hole right here in order to get into this bit, which is, again, probably fine. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and seal that off. So do that bit around the outside. Do this bit right here. And this bit right here. There we go. I can then attach this up to there. Attach this up to there as well. And do this guy as well. And there we go. So now we can climb through into there. Good. Uh, all the way down into here. And then, realistically, I want to go down from there as well. So if I can, let's go ahead and delete all of these. We'll have another hatch go in the same place right here. And that allows us to go downstairs even further. Yes. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm on board the ship. Here we go. Let's go ahead and run forwards and see if we can actually go down through here. There we go. Awesome. We are now inside the conning tower. We have enough room to walk around. Brilliant. We're then going to go downstairs into the actual sub. Oh, that's a bit difficult to do, but sure. Yeah, okay. Okay, that might have broken everything a bit. <laughs> it might have broken everything a little bit. Um... Aha. Yeah. Okay, those doors can't open up onto each other anymore. That's fine. Anyway, down here in this bit is where our control room will be, just in this bit right here. Uh, then we can have, like, a sleeping quarters and a kitchen and stuff at the front. And then if we go downstairs, we can have some more stuff as well, because we have even more room. This is crazy. This is actually crazy. These are our little missile things. Okay. And uh, we have enough room for all of it. Nice. Alright, so let's go ahead and change it into the color that we're going to be using, which is gray. Here we go. Let's go ahead and do this. And uh, go ahead and spawn it in and see what it looks like now uh, with the extra gray. There we go. Oh, yeah, it looks cool. It does actually look really cool. We have a bunch of missile pods as well. So, you know, we're, we're not going to run out. Well, I mean, we might. We're going to fire all of them, aren't we? Um, and then, yeah, we have enough room for the rest of it, too. I'm actually really excited about this. This is awesome. All right, so just because I actually really want to try it, let's go ahead and try and add a missile into one of these. I don't know which one, but we're going to go ahead and just put something in there, and hopefully it'll work out. When I say a missile, I just mean a rocket that is in uncontrolled, and it just goes straight up into the sky. All right, let's go ahead and see what happens here. So I'm just going to go ahead and press 1 and see if it actually lifts out of there. It might... Oh, my goodness! Okay, well, I mean, that worked. It did get out of there and flew away. And then if I press 2, that one also goes. Okay, so we have a missile launching system uh, that will actually work. Fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and do that again, shall we? We're going to go ahead and launch them again. But this time, I've turned the burn rate down to 20% instead. So it should be a little bit slow, which indeed it was. And it is now gone. Let's go ahead and do the other one. Bam, there we go. And that is now gone as well. That is fantastic. So all we need to do now is come up with some sort of um, system for aiming them. So like a GPS uh, signal or something like that. And then we can go from there. And honestly, that will be sick. That'll be so, so cool. Um, and I'm actually really happy this works. So what I've done is I've actually... Hang on, let me show you guys. Let me go ahead and show you guys what the missiles look like. So if we go ahead and lift one out, there we go. We can paste it right there. Uh, this piece isn't part of the missile, but this piece is. So the hard point is actually right behind the rocket booster. These guys are actually part of the same entity, so this does fly with it. Which is kind of annoying, but at the same time, totally works. Um, then that is actually attached to a uh, hard point in the side of this, which is just here. And um, that's the thing that allows us to send it. Honestly, that's kind of cool. I like it. Alright, so the more I actually think about this, the less uh, it makes sense to actually seal those off. Um, so I don't think we're actually going to go ahead and seal those off. I think these are actually going to be open to the exterior, and that does mean that they can just fill with water. So if I dived right now, this would actually fill with water. Uh, but we might add some doors on there anyway, but ones that don't seal it, because I don't think we need to. Alright, so instead of actually putting these missiles into everything, we do have to come up with the guidance system first, so we'll wait for now. Uh, but I've gone ahead and put the seat on the inside so we can get a thumbnail, which is kind of nice. And the other thing that I want to do is uh, change this around. So I'm actually going to go ahead and grab this guy, and I'm going to put it in that way around. So now, when you open up the front one, or the top one, 
Um, the bottom one will open up the same way, if that makes sense. So if we go up to here, we can then go inside. Here we go. Nice. Okay, good. And then we can open up that one, and we can open up that one. And both will open, I think. Okay, no, it still breaks them because they're too close together. Never mind. Okay, we'll have to fix that in the future. But anyway, look at this. Three, two, one, bam! Three, two, one, bam! Nice! Oh, and actually, I should mention, someone else was saying that uh, my submarine is too far out of the water. At the minute, this is an empty submarine. There is nothing on the inside. There is no reactor, there are no engines, there are no batteries, etc, uh, etc. Et so as we actually fill that up, uh, obviously it will sink down a little bit lower into the water, which does mean that I might actually change the water line. It might be a little bit higher. In fact, it's probably going to be around that line right there. However, I might not do it with a water line. I might actually get rid of that completely and change it into the same color as everything else. Maybe. I don't know. It seems a little bit old-fashioned, that's all. Anyway, um, I think for now I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Let me know in the comments down below whether you guys like the way that it is looking so far and whether we should go for a diesel or we should go for a nuclear reactor. Let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.